We're at once delighted and saddened to announce the retirement of Chris Cruder, an innovator whose career spanned more than 50 years here at KMC Controls. Chris's career started 52 years ago when his father, Ken, founded Cruder Manufacturing, today called KMC Controls. In the late 1960s, having headed up Robert Shaw's Midwest Development Center over much of the previous decade, Ken realized an opportunity to form his own company. Ken wanted to design a line of controls all of his own, and that's what he started doing. He, along with his family, built molds and dies to make their own parts and their own controls, and they've been doing it ever since. At the company's inception, Chris worked in partnership with his brothers, father, and future brother-in-law, the current chairman of the board, Wade and Kaler. He was making parts on a lathe and also a punch press when he was a teenager. Three of those brothers continue to work at KMC Controls. Together, along with other family members lending a hand when and where needed, they fashioned parts and equipment to Ken's designs in a three-car garage. They used to work 12, 14-hour days if they needed to. In the mid-1970s, the young company relocated from Winnipeg, Canada to Three River Falls, Minnesota. By the 1980s, manufacturing split off and moved to a new site in New Paris, Indiana. By the close of the decade, KMC had consolidated its engineering and manufacturing operations to its expanded facility here in New Paris, Indiana. As the business continued to grow, so did the scope of Chris's roles here at KMC. He started doing the tool design in the 80s and then started moving to product design in the 1990s. A small sampling of HVAC hardware he helped to develop includes our wall-mounted sensors, the proprietary line of KM Digital Controllers, and the KMC Conquest series of backnet controllers, as well as our new indoor air quality line of controllers and measuring devices. Not to mention a system for coupling an actuator to a valve or a damper, for which he still holds a patent. In his more than five decades here at KMC Controls, Chris has witnessed firsthand sweeping changes in technology and how it's applied to facility controls. Well, we go from pneumatics to computer electronics on all aspects of a building. That was the biggest change I've seen. In that same time span, KMC Controls has managed to grow while remaining true to its origins as a family-owned business committed to innovation and to the success of its customers. Today, the original machine shop has given way to a state-of-the-art tool and die facility under the same roof as our engineering department and factory floor. Having all of these capabilities in-house remains one of the reasons that KMC Controls can take a concept from drawing to a working prototype in a fraction of the time it takes other manufacturers in the controls industry. Looking ahead, Chris said he looks forward to having more time for his hobbies. He's a pilot with more than 4,000 hours logged in the air. He's also an avid vintage motorcycle collector. Well, I collect antique Harleys and I rebuild them. I have uh, nine Harleys, <laughs> but I'll probably do a lot more hunting and fishing. Chris said that he enjoys the friendships he's made here at KMC Controls and that he plans to check in on his friends often. I'll keep coming in to make sure these guys, if I have to solve any problems once in a while, but I still have to have access to a machine shop because I like making things. <laughs> After all, it's just another opportunity for him to take out one of his Harley Davidsons for a ride. To learn more about how you could join the team here at KMC Controls, or to learn about any of the products or solutions of the Building Geniuses here at KMC, please visit us on the web at kmccontrols.com.